I'm Katrina, and this is So and Tear, and we qu canned quail a while ago, and we actually haven't eaten it yet, which is kind of strange. We've been eating rabbit, we've been eating chicken, we've been eating turkey, we've been eating beef, and for some reason, we just haven't picked up the jar for, for the uh, quail. So, this is cold packed quail, bone in. Um, basically, it's a whole process bird, cleaned, put it in here. I'll put a link to the video up here of how he canned it. But let's see how it tastes. Gotta open up with this little guy. All right, so we're gonna try this straight out of the jar. Oh, that, no, 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 no. You don't wanna taste it straight out of the jar? Okay, I'm gonna try it straight out of the jar. Here's your <laughs> fork for later then. I was just gonna give it a little stabby. Well, I mean that like, I'll just take off the nice, leg. Nice and tender. There's, there's a little drumstick, little tiny drumstick. It tastes like quail. Good. Um, it's not spongy. It's not slippery. It's not, you know, people have these ideas about canned meat. It's not any of that. It's pretty much just cooked quail. Um, people ask, are the bones, can you eat the bones like you do with fish, which I've never canned fish, but the answer is no, this is still hard. Are you sure you want to try? No. Try I, don't, I don't like it cold. You don't like it cold? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the bone and put it in with a rice dish and it was going to heat up in the rice. Can you have a thing to get for me to put bones on, please? So it comes off the bone pretty easy. Just have to make sure we don't put bone in this. So these ribs come out pretty easy. I can see that you might miss them though, if you were doing like a lot of this. That's something to pay attention to. But this big breast meat, I mean, look at that, just falls apart. I think just the ribs, you gotta make sure you get all the ribs. Itty bitty wishbone! Can you open that up and see if it's done? Alright, yeah. Can you turn, turn, it off? turn it off and take the lid off. Thanks. And we might have to add a little bit more moisture to this because I remembered that I wanted to add this last minute. Yeah, that should be enough moisture. Maybe a little more. Can you get the milk, please? The what? Milk. I think I am going to put more in. This is just one of those, like, cheesy rice and pasta, like, make it, make it. Can you open it, please? My hands are here. Open it and add milk and water and butter and put it in. So... So it's kind of like just a shredded meat is kind of what you end up with. So far my experiences cooking, um, so far my experiences with um, canned meat, home canned meat has been very positive. We've done chicken, turkey, beef, quail, um, rabbits, I think that's it. <laughs> Look at that. I just pulled that out. All the meat came off. <laughs> um, is that all of the all of the meats done? That's like basically all your meats anyway, besides pork. Alright, I think that's enough now. 
Okay. Should I stir it? Sure. Does it need more liquid? It's getting, getting stuck. Yeah, put some put some boiling water in it. Um, Just a little bit. Um think there's much. Okay, so it doesn't need that You know, that was just an easy way to heat up. And if you see, there's a lot of liquid in there. All that liquid is from the quail themselves. So this is going to go in the refrigerator for later. We can have a little bit of meat and broth. All right, guys. I put it into this rice mixture. And you want to try it? You're going to try it all together, not just the meat? No. Okay, fine. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? What happened? It's hot. <laughs> okay, but it, does it taste good? Texture's good? Mm hmm. Quail for the win. Yep. And it was really easy to take off the bone and everything, so. That's one thing I was, I was thinking is oh, would it be worth it to take it off the bone before I put it in? the canner and do a boneless, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it's so easy just to take the bones out. Yeah, I like it. I like a can because it's pretty, pretty tender, the quail. I like it better than grilled. No, well, grilled is probably the driest way you can do it. Yeah. So, anyway, good stuff. I already put it in the refrigerator. So, <clears throat> canned quail. There is a link up here and um, hopefully that will encourage you to actually do it. If you have a pressure canner, you can can your quail. Thanks for watching, and please share this with someone who isn't quite sure about canned meat yet and needs to know how it tastes. It's wonderful. Have a good day.